Most people can go outside and get sunlight at some point in their day. The situation or scenario that you need to be in where getting outside isn't viable for you, that could be a, a reason why you want to implement the protocol. Implementing the protocol of getting red light therapy in your home is something that you should do after you've evaluated the fundamental requirement. Can I go outside? Yeah, I can go outside. Well, then why am I spending money on a red light therapy machine? Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube. Go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. What's up, everybody? It's Good Bronson here. Did you ever wonder why you're struggling, why you're stuck, why you're frustrated all the time with your journey, with the things that you're trying to do uh, in order to move forward in your health? Many of the clients that I work with come to me after years and years of trying dozens of different things, and none of them work for very long. They see some in initial progress. And then over time, things start just not working anymore. <clears throat> they find a goal, they work towards that goal, they reach that goal, and then they realize, wait, maybe that goal wasn't the thing. Maybe there's something else I need to do. Oh, there's something else in my life I don't want, or there's uh, a capability or a level of physical function or health that I'm trying to get to that that goal was nice, but it didn't get me to that next level. The reason that happens for most people is because we get confused because there's so much information out there. There's such a focus on various different things that solve specific problems. And we're missing the concept. We're missing the idea that most of our problems aren't specific. Most of our problems are foundational. Most of the problems that you have and the things you're trying to improve in your life, your health, your fitness, your quality of life, your physical freedom and independence are broad strokes, not fine print. The things that we focus on, the things that sell in the marketplace are protocols and optimization techniques that are being presented in a way to make people think that they are required for help. That is not the case. I would say uh, this is completely my opinion, completely my evaluation of where we are in the marketplace today, but I'd say 85 to 90% of most of the information, 85 to 90% of the products and services and things that are out there for you to buy or follow or believe are tools that may fit in a toolbox, but they are not the common tools that everyone needs. If I'm going to build a house, I need a hammer. I need a screwdriver. Every, every house, you're going to need that. Uh, I may not need some special uh, tool that's going to cut wood in a certain way or dig a hole in a certain way or uh, connect these two pieces of wood in a certain way or attach the siding to the house in a certain way or wire something specifically in a certain way. Those are things that are specific to the need at the time and stage that that house is being built. I don't need to start the process with those tools. I need to start the process with the basics. I need a saw. Many of us are looking for those specialized tools and we're forgetting that we haven't finished building the house or that the house is in disarray or disrepair and we need those basic tools to get it back in shape. And what we're talking about is principles over protocols. This is one of the biggest reasons why I'm writing my book. This is one of the, the, the biggest questions that I get is, how do I know what's the right thing for me to do? What is the best way for X? What is the best thing for, for Y? What is the best whatever? I wish we could remove this whole concept of there being a best out of our mindset and out of our vernacular. There is no best. There is what is effective. When we can start thinking about things from an effective perspective, it will help 
bring your mindset, bring your thought processes to a different level and you, you'll stop getting stuck in the weed. When you're looking at the information out there, I want you to think about two things. If we're talking about the difference between a principle and a protocol, and we want to focus on principles, principles are broad. They apply to most people. The whole idea of a principle is many of the protocols you see are a protocol that is specific to an issue, but it fits under the principle of whatever. Here's an example. The principle that we all need sunlight. Go outside, get some sun. That's a principle. That's basic, basic human need. Okay. The, the protocol of get yourself a red light therapy device and put it in your home is a protocol. That is not a, getting a red light therapy device in your house, getting red light in your house is not a principle. It is not a requirement. Okay. That is a way to implement a part of the principle of going out and getting sunlight. What are, why, why, what's the difference? Well, I'm still getting the same thing. Well, are you? With the principle, it has a broader stroke. It's easier to implement. It doesn't cost any extra money to go outside. Okay? It doesn't add any complexity to your life. It includes other benefits, fresh air, movement, often quiet time if you're by yourself, some 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 self-reflection and awareness development gives you the opportunity to be with yourself. If you're doing it with other people, now we're talking about relationship building and social interaction. There's a principle of get outside. It has a whole bunch of benefits. The protocol of get yourself a red light and put it in your house is specific as one thing, right? One impact, one effect that it is applying to your journey. That's how you know the difference. Protocols are specific. They usually add complexity or cost to your routine or your life, and they only apply in specific situations. Most people can go outside and get sunlight at some point in their day. The situation or scenario that you need to be in where getting outside isn't viable for you, okay, and it's not as effective, uh, that could be a, a reason why you want to implement the protocol. Implementing the protocol of getting red light therapy in your home is something that you should do after you've evaluated the fundamental requirement and can you meet that? Can I go outside? Yeah, I can go outside. Well, then why am I spending money on a red light therapy machine? Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the red light therapy. It's a tool. Just like all protocols are tools. It's a matter of, of where your focus is. If you're focused on buying all the tools and you have a complete tool shed, but you're not using the basic ones most of the time, you're, miss, you're, you're kind of missing the point. You spent a lot of money. You got all these tools that most of them aren't helping you and you're not using properly and they're not as effective. Using the special tools are only going to be beneficial when building that house if you've used the foundational tools properly to begin with. And that's one of the things I want you to understand. Protocols have specific uses, specific use cases, and they only work if you've already done or are doing the foundational things to meet the basic principles of human function. The second thing I want you to think about when you're considering principles over protocols, are you spending a lot of time doing a lot of different things or are you focused on the one, two, or three things that are the basic things that everybody needs? So if you're thinking about what, how can I do X, Y, or Z, and now I have to start doing all of these other things. I have to change my schedule. I have to start doing, uh, specific things on a specific schedule. Hey, that's, that's a protocol. If it's something simple, like let's say I need to increase protein, prioritize protein is a principle. There's no rules that go with how you do that. There's a dozen different ways you can prioritize protein. You can eat more protein in a day. You can add a little bit to a meal. You can add a little bit to every meal. You can eat your protein on your plate first. What works for you? What is the thought process you go through? And what does that mean to you? That's what you do. As opposed to PSMF, I'm going to start doing the PSMF protocol. That means I have to track everything that I eat, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but thinking about the difference between just prioritizing protein being a lot easier to think about than now I have to track my protein intake. I have to track my fat intake. I have to make sure that I'm getting X amount of protein at least two days a week while getting X amount of fat on those days. On the days I'm not getting more protein, I need to increase my fat. Um, how is that timing with my workout? How do I have to readjust my schedule for food prep, right? There's a handful of things that you have to add to your thought process, add to your schedule, add to your routine in order to meet the requirements of the protocol. So just thinking about the difference between the two, not saying either one are bad, 
Where are you? Where are you getting stuck? Do you have the basics met? Or are you focusing on trying to implement protocols that may or may not apply to you and may not work either way because you haven't been doing the foundational basic things that your body needs? If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that the scale is not something that I really worry about when it comes to tracking progress and measuring health. Body composition, on the other hand, is a critical factor in breaking down the components of your body and helping us identify where we can make improvements in your fitness or nutrition to help your body function better. InBody USA has a product called the H20N that is an at-home body composition scanner that uses state-of-the-art technology. They have over 5,000 scientific studies that are published in the world using their technology. I highly recommend that you use it consistently and that you learn how your body composition affects and is impacted by the things that you're doing every single day. 